The transports are continuing to make a run this year. The Dow's transportation average is up over 107 percent from the market bottom one year ago. Joining us right now to talk about what's working and what she expects to keep working is Catherine Thompson. She's the CEO of Thompson Research Group. And Catherine, we know this reopening trade is here. We've seen it take off all over the place. But you've been looking for things that you think are bargains within all of this. Why don't we just start talking about some of those stocks right off the top? One of them is Alston Transmission, and they make automatic transmissions. Tell me why you like that. So you know, one of the things that you, you want to look at is themes, and then how do you capitalize on these themes specifically in transportation? And one of the themes in, in transports right now is just a shortage of drivers and qualified drivers, particularly ones that can do manual transmission. Uh, a big focus for Allison is on automatic transmissions. And so this helps solve uh, a little bit of the problem of being able to provide vehicles that more people can actually drive. Um, as we try to meet that qualified um, driver standard. The other basic thing, too, if you're doing a lot of short haul and we have an increase in, in demand for household goods or building products because this is not a timorous recovery, it's exactly these type of vehicles and auto parts that will feed that demand. That's great. And in terms of cash flow, you say look at cash flow for companies and EBITDA. What do you see here? Um, you know, you're seeing uh, with really strong market share, often you get very good, very strong EBITDA uh, growth on these names. Um, and in particular for this, what you want to see is good, strong recurring revenue, uh, which leads to those strong cash flows. And this is particularly one of those names um, that fits that. Um, but there's other really good names, too, that we could shift to if, if, you're, if you're good at that. And uh, Will Scott Mobile Mini is one of those where you've got um, a very strong recurring revenue standpoint. You have long leases. These are companies that make modular offices and portable storage units. And you may say, well, how is this related to transportation and, and the whole transport side? Um, when you have big population movement, big construction, um, when you transport goods and, and, and are uh, at these construction sites or other sites, you, you need these units. Um, and with leases of two and a half years plus, very strong pricing with a uh, significant market share in a highly fragmented industry. Uh, Will Scott is also another great name to capitalize uh, on this transport. We are out of time, Catherine, and I apologize for that. I know your third pick was Atlas Corporation. That makes sense given uh, the container ship shortage that we've seen. They're, they're, they lease container ships. So we'll have you back to talk about that stock again soon. But it's really good to see you this morning. Thanks for your time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.